Hi there and welcome. Today I'd like to review and provide a time-lapse demonstration of the Mungio Gallery 72 box set of oil pastels that I have here. First I will compare Mungio oil pastels to Lightwish also known as Culox Mont and Montmartre oil pastels. Later in the video, I will be demonstrating the versatility and performance of the Mungio oil pastels by recreating the Water Lilies painting by Claude Monet from 1916 as a master study. First, let's go ahead and take a closer look at the color variety offered by the 72 pastel set. As you can see, there is a beautiful array of colors available from a large variety of pinks, purples, blues, greens, and yellows. The only limitation of this set's color palette is that it only offers a few reds. Because the distribution of colors, it gives me the impression that this set is ideal for floral and landscape paintings. Also worth noting, this set comes in a hinged box with latches, which is really nice. You can see it's just hinged on one end. So I think it'd be a great gift because of the presentation of the box. Now let's briefly compare price and characteristics after we look at these colors. So you can see the colors of the oil pastels. They're pretty vivid. Okay. Comes with a little brochure explains all the different colors in the ranges for the sets. And there they are. Nice, right? Okay. So, as you can see, like I said, there's only a few reds in the range. But um, these are really beautiful oil pastels. They're nice. They're good size. Um, so now let's com briefly compare the price and characteristics of the Mungio set against the Montmartre and Lightwish oil pastel brands. And I've got a little sheet for us to go through and compare with. As for price, you can see the Mungio uh, set is $42.80 and for the 72 oil pastel set. That rounds out to about 59 cents per pastel stick. The brochure that comes with the set indicates the largest set size or range of colors to be 120 for the Mungio brand. When comparing Mungio's Ultramarine Blue to similar colors in Montmartre and Lightwish sets, um, we can see, clearly see the Mungio pastels are softer and more blendable than the Montmartre pastels, but are slightly firmer than the Lightwish pastels. So you can tell from the softness and blending column. These are a little more blendable than, so the Mungio is a little more blendable than the Montmartre's, but the Light Wishes are the most blendable of all three of them. So they fall kind of in between, so Mungio is kind of in between Montmartre and Light Wish for its softness and blendability. As far as texture goes, you can see the texture of both Montmartre and Light Wish have about the same uh, rating, there's a slight tack in the, in the light wish, but it's fairly smooth for the Mungio. So they, go, they glide on the paper fairly smoothly. Not quite as smooth as the Montmartre's though. Overall, the Mungio pastels appear to have very good coverage compared to the other brands and are excellent for both blending and stippling. This leads me to believe that the uh, coverage for a background would be more efficient because the way they, they uh, cover the white of the paper more, uh, more effectively. As for size and shape, you can see that Montmartre's are smaller round 
the Lightwish or Culox brand is a larger square and it's a regular round size for the Mungio Gallery. So overall, I'm thrilled with this Mungio set and it has excellent blendability and stippling effects for the back and good background coverage. So as you can see, it does a good job. And it's about the same price per stick as the Light Wish oil pastels. The cheapest ones at the most affordable price is 31 cents per pastel stick stick for the Montmartre oil pastels. Let's put that aside. Okay, so it's true. I like all my pastel sets, but I think each set has its own merits. So if you are looking to purchase one of these sets, your choice will likely depend on your application, the color range you're looking for, and your budget. I hope you found this re review informative. Now let's dive into the demonstration.
Thank you for joining me today. I hope you had a good time and found this review and demonstration useful. Please consider liking and subscribing to show your support for the channel. I appreciate your interest and would like to hear from you in the comments section below. If you are interested in more oil pastel related content, I will link my oil pastel playlist at the end of this video. Thank you for visiting my art cube and until next time, stay creative my friends. Bye.